everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sinisha and this is Pips of Future Highlights. In this episode, we're going to take a look at an improved landing page in Gecko 6. Landing page is the feature that existed before and we already covered it for Gecko 5 in the video that I'm going to link in the description below. So if you're interested to know how to create the landing page and what you can do with it in Gecko and Pips of 5, you can go and watch that video. This video is updated for Gecko and Pipsa Sits, so let's start with it. Landing pages gain in popularity with uh, Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn introducing them previously, and it is the page that simply redirects all the guest traffic or users that are not logged in on your website and funnels them into that page where they can see all the information that they need to either log in or create a new account. So let's start with creating a basic, basic landing page for your website. To do that, first we will create the page like any other page in the WordPress. So go to Pages, Add New, give it a title, let's call it Landing Page. Title doesn't really matter, as long as you can find it, use whatever title you want. The most important thing that do matter, however, is the template option over here in the summary section of your page options, okay? Change the template from default template to landing and then publish the page. And just like that, you created the landing page for your website. Let's see it. Because I'm logged in with the user, this page shows some different things, like uh, showing uh, the name of the user, go to homepage link, and this doesn't make much sense. So let's first discuss how to change this text over here on the left side and what happened with the image that used to be here. In Pipsa 5, if you create the landing page, a stock image will show here, but in Pipsa 6, that image is removed and now you are required to add your own image. And process is really simple. All you have to do is go to your landing page. Here in the page options, simply change the featured image. Changing the featured image will change the image here on the page. So let's choose this one. You can upload your own anytime you want. Set featured image, update the page. Let's refresh it. And now I have the updated landing page. If you don't like the image for whatever reason, simply go back and remove it or replace it. I'm going to keep it like this without the image because it will allow me to explain what to do with this text. Currently, you can change this text in the Gecko language files, but even better, you can change it by going into the landing page and then adding some content. Let's say, hello, YouTube, and update the page. Now, when you refresh it, Hello YouTube is added. And what's more, the styling and all the beautification of the text will apply to the landing page as well. So if you need headers, you can use headers, you can use bold text, italic text. Let's try it like this and make this bold, made this italic, and update the page, refresh it, so you can write whatever you want in there. You don't have to hassle with translation files, okay? The only viable scenario where I can think of translation files being useful is where you have a multilingual site where you will keep your page clean, so no content to it added whatsoever. So it always display the default message. And then 
you can uh, translate the default message in many different languages. Now let's shift our attention from the left part of the screen to the right one. And as you can see here, if you used the landing page in Gecko and Pipsa 5, this is usually the screen that will be displayed to you. However, in Gecko 6, we added the widget positions here to this page, and now you can replace it with widgets. Let's quickly add the widget by going into WordPress dashboard, then Appearance Widgets, Scroll all the way down until you find the landing widget position and add your widgets. Everything displayed on the landing page over in this right area will be replaced with a widget. So you can do that if you wish. Let's look for Pipso and let's add this community video, for example. Now, when I refresh the landing page, everything on the right side, right hand side will be replaced with widgets. Okay. But I strongly recommend not to do that. Do this only if you, if you really must. And if you really want to, because this landing page is not meant for, for a registered user. This page, the sole purpose of this page is to redirect users that are not logged in. I am currently logged in, so let me show you how it works when user is not logged in. It now shows the login form and it does have the register link option if they want to register on the website. So the sole purpose of this page is to funnel all the people who are not logged in or registered on your site and prevent them from seeing other content. And that's the most important thing of the landing page. And now I'm going to show how to set that up as well. Let's close this incognito window and go back to our WordPress backend. Now in WordPress backend, look for get row and then settings. We are not going to customizer. We are going to get the team settings. And the very first option that you see here is redirect guests. So redirect all guests to a specific page except from registration and privacy policy pages. Okay. So let's find our landing page to redirect guests on. This is our landing page that we created in pages. Find it, choose it, and then save changes. In order to see how this works, we need to actually open some page in our website. So I'm going to go to the website, let's say groups, for example, I'm going to copy this link to all of the groups available on my website and then open a new incognito window, paste this link, go to it, but I am redirected to the landing page because I am not logged in. This is the great way to close off your community, to, to make it uh, restricted to only logged in members. But what if you have other pages that you want to, uh, you know, allow access to, let's say you have a web shop as well, or e-commerce store on your website, and you want your users to be able to see those pages of, of your web shop. Okay. In order to allow the member members or people actually who are not logged in and registered on your website, you can redirect either a single item, single page, by adding the page ID to this list over here, or redirect the entire post type with the exceptions. And if you don't know what the post type are available on your website, you can click this neat little link that, re that will reveal all available post types. So let's say if I 
choose the page for example and save it all the posts with the page post types will be available and now in incognito window this red red will not work anymore it's https ipso.tv slash groups and if I visit this page I can now see it because I redirected the entire the entire page post type okay let's remove it save the change go back again to our groups in incognito window and now I'm redirected back I hope this made sense and now you know how can uh, how can you choose the entire post type and how to see all available to post types on your website if you're looking to redirect just the one single item or single page you can do it by adding the id of the page here in this in these options over here and how to find the id well that's even simpler let's say we want to redirect that group page that we the, that we chose as an example in order to find an id for this page we will go to pages all pages i'm going to open it in a new window to keep this open now i'm going to edit the groups and here in the link i can see that post my post id is 47 if i add 47 over here and save changes go back to my incognito window and reload groups page i am now able to open it because i i specifically said the page with id 47 that is this page for groups is not going to be redirected if I want to revert it, I will remove the ID of that page from redirection. Go back to incognito window. And now it's redirected one more time. In the landing page itself, actually the page options, you can use some of the available settings here in Gecko page options. So you can hide the header, hide the menu in header if you want or hide the footer let's hide the header menu and update the page so now let's see it now we hidden the menu you see you can use you can use all of these options over here but more importantly let's check what are the options available in get to customizer so we are going to leave this go to get to customizer and navigate to team let's just wait for for the page to load so in team scroll all the way down and find the landing page template expand the options and here you can choose the full width footer display the footer widgets and display the footer social widgets even let's publish it refresh the landing page and now we have the footer all the way through entire page. I don't like the, how that worked. So let's revert it. Refresh the page. Now the footer is only in this section over here. If you publish the widget in the footer, they will be displayed once this option is enabled in landing page, page footer widgets. So display footer widgets, display footer social widgets. Let's publish how it was, refresh the page, and we are all set. And that is how you create the landing page in new Gecko 6. For the most part, it's the similar process as it is with Gecko 5. Only a few different little things and improvements have been added, like uh, ability to change the content over here, and change the widgets.
right? If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification icon to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We are present there as well. All the links will be in the description below. Until the next video, I wish you all the best with your websites. Bye.